my dear friends delegates welcome to sem colonoscopy master class today we are going to teach you the art and science of colonoscopy by using this virtual simulator the gi mentor called symbionic gi express right now i have a joystick which is something like a pendex colonoscopy in my hand and i'm having the control head in my non dominant left hand and i'm having the insertion section as you can see in my right hand and we are just imagine the monitor what you see in front of you there it will tell you that it will say the patient file and the map that will tell you the geography and about the case you will have an idea and the patient's pain score and how much of encephalation you have done all the information is uh, in built inside so it is a real life feeling you will have when you do but for little haptics i think this is the near perfect scope i would say so let us start doing what i call a diagnostic colonoscopy so as you go forward as you can see here this is rectum just in unlike an upper gi endoscopy you will be just doing a little talking big well towards me then you try to bring the lumen right at the center and if you see the map if i periodically ask my colleague to show the map we can see how i am traversing as i push and push push as you can see in the monitor the pain is also increasing the patient is not enjoying that place the big wheel completely towards me i'll just reduce this is the reduction of what i call the end loop so the as you can see clearly the end loop how carefully we are able to reduce then you can go further in like this and travel but the loop reduction is not a single stage as you can see we have reached the beginning of the descending colon but still there is a small loop so we can just again try to just to reduce as you pull back if you carefully see the tip it tip actually it will just find its way up into the easily into the descending colon so and there is another insert here you can see that will tell you also how much of uh, uh, travel you have done then again you travel one step backward then two step forward one step forward and two step backward so like that you go now this splenic flexure in a real life situation splenic flexure you may have to turn the patient or ask the patient to breath hold then you can just portion but sometimes you form the loop again so you try to reduce the loop then that will help you to enter into the splenic flexure into the transverse colon if you see the luminal view then you will be see the typical triangular configuration as you can see the green insert in the luminal view there is a little bit of sigmoid loop i'll try to reduce that also here then if you see the map then you can go in go in then we'll be going in the map if you see we have reached the hepatic flexure then we are how to dive into the hepatic flexure so that we will be able to see the cecum in a minute so the patient is having a little bit of pain so i'll just try to reduce the loop one more time then again go very easily right up to the thing then you have the luminal view now what do you see like something like a w that is actually depiction in this uh, virtual model the location of the the last hostal fold that is the iliocecal fold and appendicular opening you will be seeing down there and also the crow foot then right at this area of iliocecal valve then keep it around 12 o'clock position reduce the loop then just enter you will be able to enter the ilia so this will allow you to enter the ilium if you want you can just reduce the loop a little bit then as you can see in the map we have entered the ilium but patient is having little bit of pain because of the persisting sigmoid loop you try to reduce the loop and also try to suck the fluid or air like that i am sucking 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 let me just see whether i am able to suck all the air possible and whether we will able to get if you carefully watch the pain score slowly the pain score is coming down an inch by inch that means the pace the distension of the colon is now reduced keep on doing that few times until the pain score is acceptable 
then go back to the luminal view then you will be able to just to see whether you are able to go little further in and and if you want you can install water it is there is a provision for installing water and clean the lens and come back there is no evidence of any inflammatory bowel disease then come back into the cecum revisit the ileocecal fold then coming into the ascending colon you just go up down right and left because cecum to anus withdrawal you should take at least minimum 6 minutes or more so that not to miss any small lesion what we call as the adenoma detection rate is kept in the optimum thanks to this slow careful examination. So, this is what is again you can instruct your trainee to practice at this stage coming up and down using the big wheel or torque the scope right left like this clockwise anti clockwise and if there is any fluid feces we can always give them a wash like this and suck if necessary. So, you have to say that this patient is having a fairly good bowel preparation as per the Boston bowel preparation score. So, all along I think we had a decent look if you carefully go and see the map one more time you will be able to appreciate now we are more or less in the transverse colon this repeated examination both in the external that is how and the geography the location like a road map then luminal view is possible only in this model, but if you are able to do this several times and it becomes an easy for you even in a real patients even without the use of what I call a scope guide you will have an idea where you are and what rectifying procedure you need to do. So, now we are coming down in the descending colon if you go into the map I can see and also the pain as you can see because there is hardly any loop the pain is below 50 percent and there is still quite a bit of distance and we will try to just to take away air if possible and just come back come back come back come back. Let me just see whether I will be able to examine the rectum at the end because normally in a patient we will be trying to examine the lower rectum by doing a retroflexion that also we can see whether we can demonstrate in this patient. So, I am just coming down into the recto sigma junction into the upper rectum can you go to the map again see you can go in and you can just do a retroflexion like this and you will be able to see sometimes just to go back to the view. So, like this you will be able to see the scope also along with that. So, big wheel completely towards you then you will be able to see the lower rectum carefully you can do recreate what you are normally expected to achieve at this stage. Then at the end of the final procedure of course, is trying to suck all the fluid then come out. So, this is in addition a diagnostic let us see the potential of this by giving one more example there are actually 10 diagnostic 10 therapeutic modules are inbuilt in this uh, modules and out of which at least to give a taste of what you can teach your trainee to learn is one of the therapeutic model we will see whether we can see a case of polyp in which we can diagnose the polyp we will try to describe according to this uh, uh, Fox classification and a good dose classification try to take a snare and try to do a hot snare polypectomy. So, let us go so I just push the scope in and this presumably a case of a I do not know where exactly it is going to be he was presenting with uh, bleeding. So, we will just go slowly as you can see it is a very tortuous colon it is going to be very treacherous route. Let us go to the luminal view let me just concentrate on the lumen because our aim is to look for the polyp. go slowly then only you will be able to achieve the progress you want to go. So, repeated reduction is a success story. So, now you can see in the insert says that you have a fairly long sigmoid loop I will just try to reduce it as you reduce you have a paradoxically you are going deep inside Then let me just torque the scope again and go a little bit inside then again gain some length at the same time reduce the loop 
and we are now making so there is a large tumor as you can see I'll just forget this one for the time being let us try to do something like a completion that is a small pedunculated polyp let us for the demonstration rather than trying to attempt a complete colonoscopy we will try to do a polypectomy so polyp you keep it somewhere here let me just put an insert that is through the access uh, what normally we do through the biopsy channel we pass a biopsy forces if you want to take a biopsy or a snare to if you are going to have a snare polypectomy this being having a pedangle pedicle so you should be able to remove it without much difficulty so for that you need to just insert the gadget the accessory the tool necessary in the access channel which I am just now doing and when you go in then it will give you option so option 3 that is a snare we have chosen so just to uh, open the snare so you just allow your star I mean can then close it then just apply the diathermy close it close it further yes yes see like that it can then you have a retrieval device then we can retrieve or we can even with this same open close slowly like that you can go and catch it and slowly you can take it out so that is also possible and for the timing you imagine that you have already removed it then we are coming back we will see whether we are able to do a biopsy can we do a biopsy let us see so we will go with the same accessory one more time and it will give you a, a option so I am having a biopsy forces go there and open and close see it gives you that feel as if you have taken a bit and I take a biopsy one and then you can go back again because minimum you have to take 6 to 8 bits open in a different place you can ask your student to see I want to take it here you can ask him then you can go close so you can have that feel so as if you are pulling the tissue uh, sometimes it creates also a bleeding so the bleeding also can be real and if there is any bleeding you can give a wash out and all this skin thing can be so it is otherwise it is more like a feel as if we are doing a real colonoscopy spend at least 10 hours in such procedures then you, you will be really a master so this is just in a nutshell what a symbionic GI mentor or express can give the trainee an insight into all the tips and tricks of the colonoscopy not even seeing one patient all in a simulated controlled safe environment thank you